Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. And yourself? Doing good. Doing good. So we're here at the uh, Wawa in Largo on Roosevelt and US 19. And what's your name? My name is Josh. Your name's Josh? Yes. Nice uh, to meet you, man. I appreciate you doing the interview. Yes, How old are you? I actually just turned 31. 31. I understand you're homeless? Yes, sir. Yes, How long sir. have you been homeless? I've been homeless going on a year now. Okay, and this is your vehicle here, this uh, little motor scooter, right? Yes, sir. It's kind of cool. It looks like a good way to get around. Yes, sir. How long you had that? Uh, I actually just got it a week ago. Got it a week ago. Congratulations, yes, man. Sir. Like a cool ride. Thank you, my guy. Yes, sir. Where are you originally from? I'm actually from Baltimore. Baltimore. How long you been in Florida? Uh, going on a year. 11 okay. Months. So when you left Baltimore is when you became homeless, correct? That is correct. Okay. Yes, sir. What's the closest you have come? What's the What's the closest you've come to having a place to live, or how close are you to having being able to put together some money or, or get a room and get a place to live? Um, right now with the Florida economy, man, it's just been really hard, man. Like I haven't been not even in arms reach of finding somewhere to stay or getting any help to find somewhere to stay, like. I've just been working hard. I save any dollars I can. What kind of work to, you do? Uh, I actually work in a warehouse. I work. I drive forklift. Okay, so are you employed full time? Yes, sir. Do you have any chemical dependency or drug use issues? No, sir. You don't like to do drugs? I don't. You I drink? Don't. I don't drink at all. Okay. Either actually. Yeah. Are you in touch with your parents? Uh, I actually don't have a mother. My mother actually was blessed to leave. And my father, he's still up in Baltimore, living his own life. Do you talk to him very often? Uh, no. Okay. Unfortunately. Do you have any kids? I actually do. I have uh, one son. I actually have uh, one five-year-old son. He's actually turning six on Thanksgiving. Do you get to talk to him much? Oh, I talk to him every day uh, via FaceTime, through the phone. Yeah, that, that's my heart right there, right? Wow, cute kid. That's who I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, that's my Have you ever been treated for any type of mental illness? Oh, no. Do you get along well with the people you work with? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Have you talked to any of them about maybe rooming with them, giving them chipping in on the rent or anything? Oh, yeah, I definitely have. But uh, I have one guy who he does the Airbnb and he tried to turn me on to the Airbnb thing, but... I still be looking on there. It's just I don't find too many okay. good deals. On Where do there. you sleep at night? Uh, any bench or bus stop I can. Any just a, I try to find a secluded bus stop or a secluded place just where I can try to get comfortable and just try to get some rest. I work uh, from 3 p.m. till 12 at night. So okay. yeah, as soon as I get off of work, I just come around try to find me a a bench or somewhere just to lay my head to the morning. Do the police ever give you a problem? Uh, yeah, they've been, they they give a lot of the homeless people a problem, and it's really sad. Like, I haven't seen as m many veteran homeless people until I got here in Florida, and man, it, it's just, it's bad how the police treat them. It's bad how they treat us. I can say us because I'm a part of it right now, but it, it, it's horrible, man. Like, I'm talking about they just shoot me away from here. I tell them I'm from Baltimore. They tell me, well, why don't I just go back there? Like, Have you ever been physically assaulted by police in Florida? No, not here. No, sir. Have you ever witnessed them breaking the law as far as how they treat you in, in your interpretation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a few times. How do they do that? How do they break the law? Oh, I'm, I'm, I mean... Just not going by the the protocol that they're about to go by. Uh, I've been dealing with certain rookie police to where as though I've had to get him to bring his lieutenant out and. and what bring agency his was that? Uh, Largo, actually. Or did it happen here at Wawa? Uh, I've had an incident here, yes, where okay. I've just been sitting here for a few hours doing crossword puzzles, word search, and security has called in the police saw me and what security guard was it a lady or a male oh no the uh, male a caucasian male just an older guy he gets a lot of complaint he he does it with people a lot look of out for him huh oh yeah 
Uh, okay. What's your goal? I uh, do you have goals right now? Or is your goal to get a place oh, to stay? I have, I have a million goals. I, right now, I'm just working on my my small short term goals. I have a lot of goals. I got middle goals. I got long term goals. Right now, my short term goals are just to my first goal. My first, my number one priority right now. What I'm working for is to get a home. Is to get a shelter. Get a, a place to stay. That's my first and number one goal. After that, my second immediate goal is to send for my son in Maryland. As soon as I get a place to stay, I'm trying to get him down. How much money you have saved up? Back with me. Right now, I'm not gonna lie, I only have about 500 bucks saved up. Like, I uh, actually just got into a new job. My God has been walking this step with me the whole time. He just left me with a, a, a good opportunity where I'm, I'm working at a better warehouse now. Uh, I'm getting paid a little bit more than I was uh, working at the Walmart. So I'm, I'm, now I'm starting to have the opportunity to save. Okay, good. Yeah. Is there something someone could do to help you right now? What's the main thing you would ask for for, some, for somebody to give you a hand? Uh... Anything I can just ask for is, I just, I'm not really a, a material person. I'm not a person that can ask for material because my God has blessed me. I still have both of my arms. I still have both of my legs. So I like to work for everything when it comes to material. But when it comes to just something somebody can help me with, man, I would take advice. I would take knowledge. I would take wisdom over anything, man. Just so it sounds like you appreciate the things you do have, arms and legs, and it sounds like you don't like to take much for granted. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's yes, sir. And I don't sit here and look at my situation as the worst situation. Like, yeah, I'm not in the best situation, but there's somebody out here that's going through worse as well. So. Would you like to give a phone number in case someone sees this story, sees you talking, and wants to reach out for any reason? Oh, yeah, definitely. I definitely have a cell phone number. Uh, my cell phone number is 727-589-2143. Uh, Again, that's 727-589-2143. Uh, and my name is Josh. Well, thank you very much, man. Appreciate your time, yes, okay? Uh, have a good night. Love. You too.